Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. Well, I got a little problem with my freshwater fill. So after I had drained it for the winter, completely drained the tank, and I'm just going to fill it up so I can sanitize it. I started filling up the water, and all of a sudden, oh no, water was pouring out underneath. I'm like, oh crap. Figured up. I had the skirting and the heated underbelly and everything, and I thought, uh-oh, somehow some water was in there and cracked the tank. But luckily that's not the case. Let me crawl under and show you what's going on. Okay, so you see the hose there, the fill hose where it's dripping. It looks to me like there's some cracks or something on that hose, which I'm happy with, better than the the plastic tag being cracked. I'll pull that hose out and we'll have a closer look at it. Hose clamp there. It goes up through the floor and then on the inside I can undo it as well. Okay, so this is where the hose comes in. Right there from the outside. <clears throat> and then there are my water pumps down there. So I had made this box and it's easy to pull off and we'll get some access. Looks like i have to get it through the floor there. There we go, I got it off, so that's the fill there. And this is the hose. This is a water pump, it's a SureFlow water pump. It's been excellent. Uh, installed in uh, 2014, I put this in and done a lot of boondocking, no problems at all. All this extra hosing you see is where I added hose and I looped it around just to quiet it down. And this is also, it's a winterizing kit that was installed. So what uh, Keystone did is they ran everything down in between the floor there to the underbelly. So I'm gonna have to get that out of there. Okay, got her all out. And there is my leak there, there's a couple slots. Now, unfortunately to me, that looks like maybe a rodent was in there gnawing on it. So I'm going to have to have a really good look around the underbelly, make sure it hasn't uh, done any other damage. So this stuff you can get from RV dealers. The local RV company didn't have it. It just says flexible PVC, one and a quarter inch. So I hit Home Depot and got what's called pool and spa hose, which is exactly the same size. And you want I guess you want the flexible kind because it goes around corners and stuff like that. We don't drink out of our fresh water tank, so I'm not really worried about whether it's toxic or not, but I doubt it'll be a problem. It just is, it's just a gravity fill hose. So we'll put that in, hook it up, and see if we have any leaks. Took a little bit of effort, but I managed to get the, the hose back threaded down. Keystone had cut a hole in the, in the flooring. And that's where they ran this fill pipe. And then there's the, also the, the water pipes. There's the vent pipe and the pickup pipe. Well, there's a hitch in my cunning plan to use the pool hose. Turns out this is a pool vacuum hose. It's a little bit different than the hose they use for the gravity fill on the RV fresh water tank. You can see the inside here is smooth on the RV hose and this is kind of corrugated also on the inside so of course when you clamp it down it was weeping ever so slightly drip 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 um, in the meantime what I did is I just filled in the the grooves with some silicone tightened it up with some hose clamps and it's not leaking or anything but down the road I'm gonna have to get some of the proper stuff anyway here it is installed that's the inlet, and then going down through the floor underneath, and there we go. Just decided to double up the hose clamps on that. And we got a full tank, had a full tank for a couple hours and no leak out of there. The other things on this tank, the one at the low part there is the pickup for the water pump. Uh, the other hose up there is the vent that vents the air as you're filling the tank. So if you have a problem filling the tank, sometimes that vent can get plugged, cause problems when you're filling the tank. 
And if you see that circuit board there, that's part of my sea level tank gauges. Works really good on the freshwater tank. I guess I better give the pump a test. Make sure it's all working. Seems to be okay. So on Amazon, here's actually the hose I need. There's a Camco one. It's one called Smooth Bore Automotive Authorities. So I need the inch and one quarter. I don't need 10 feet. You can see there's lots of different to choose from. It's like to even have a whole kit to replace everything. Anyway, until next time, it's Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks for watching, folks. Cheers, everyone.